west of Minneapolis, I-94. On the way home, and you know what that means. We got a mission. Only necess... Ne what? Only necessity stops. Necessary stops? Only stops of necessity. There you go, Trucker Josh can English. There you go. So we have uh, about six hours and I'll be at the yard, as long as we don't run into any problems. About four and a half hours we'll be at the border. Got our load tarped behind us. It's a really oddly shaped load. I'll show you it in a minute when I pull over for a coffee. I still haven't had a coffee today. It's been terrible. It's been a terrible day without my coffee. But uh, the tarps I had were actually really nice. They stretched over the entire load. The whole 53 foot bed behind me is occupied, being used. And it's all going to the Vancouver area of British Columbia. I got three boxes going to Burnaby, BC next Thursday afternoon. And the rest of the entire trailer is going to Vancouver. Like right into Vancouver. It's going to be quite interesting because I don't think I've actually been that far into the city with a truck before. We'll take a look at it on the map sometime this week yet. We will be delivering there a week from today. So actually, we got some time yet. Back in Sock Center. Again, not like socks on your feet. Sock, S-A-U-K. Except this time we're not going to Walmart. I still have enough food, groceries, and drinks and stuff and water. We're going to go to the other side of the freeway where there is a nice truck stop. It's actually very nice. It's America. Of course it's nice. Let's see if we can get across here. We can get across. Nope, traffic. Okay, okay. Let's just afford. Let's go. No? Okay. Ford's got rights too? Okay. I'm <laughs> just bugging you guys. So there's the truck stop. What's it called over there? Uh, it's a shell, but it's sort of like a ma and pa truck stop. It's it's actually really nice. Really, really nice. They got a big shop there. It's not like a big chain, I don't think. Not like a not like a TA or Petro, you know what I mean? Apparently, uh, we're gonna have some difficulty getting across this road here though. Now you get traffic coming from there after this Ford. A lot of Fords around here. There's a Ford town. Diesel, how do you feel about that? Okay, after this pickup. I'm going for it. I'm going for it. He's going for it. You can see behind me my load's all tarped. It's actually, uh, it was pretty simple towards the front here. But we have that huge, weird, awkward piece on the back. That was the hardest part. Give you the little walk around once we get into the truck stop here. The Trucker's Inn, that's what it's called. A nice restaurant here and stuff. Big parking lot. I just want a coffee. That's all I want. Cafe au lait. All right. Wow, there's like no one here. Everybody's working. Okay, good to see, good to see. I'm going to go around to the back. Another parking spot there. Do you want to walk across, buddy, or are you going to wait for me? It looks like you're waiting for me. Okay. I got my eye on you. All right. Let's go park in the back over there. So we're gonna go around here. Looks like there's a bit of a crater right here. Yikes. No, they filled it in. Okay, good. Look at that. I filled it right in. I'm gonna drive right over it. <laughs> Pack it in. There you go. It works. Good job, whoever filled that in. It's all parking space back here. And then there's a rear entrance here as well. This is where I always park, just because it's just easier, I guess. Park right beside Mr. Werner. We keep America moving. Good for you. Good for you. You sure do when you're not in the ditch. Turn right on West <laughs> Minnesota 28. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Just joking. Just joking. Diesel, I'm gonna go inside, okay? You stay here, I'm just gonna grab a coffee. This is gonna be really, really quick. I'm talking super duper quick. We're going home today, man. You wanna go home? Hey, 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 hey. Would you like to go home? 
I know you're filming me, man. There's a camera on your face. Makes me nervous. He hates cameras. I don't know. He always knows when the camera's on. All right. I'll see you in a bit, guys. See what I mean here? The front part of this load was super easy to tarp. Super easy. But then you got to the back here, you got this one weird piece sticking out here. And then in the back there yet, you got this massive, massive piece. And I got a little protector underneath the tarp there just to make sure that, that doesn't rip through because there's a lot of pressure on that point right there. But. It's a weird looking load, I tell you. Well, of course we can't cross back into Canada without first fueling here in Grand Forks, North Dakota. It's a lot cheaper here. And I need a coffee. Make our way in here. Doesn't look like I'll be waiting for a pump. That's good. Oh yeah. Perfect. This is a nice flying J. It's not, not usually that busy. Tarps are all still doing good behind me there. That's good. Look at this guy here, this monster blade. Wow. They make these around here, so you see a lot of them. I'd love to pull one of those ones just for fun. I think it would be fun. Well, that was quick, eh, Diesel? Look at this. I've never seen a front end loader like this. What is this, a big giant Kubota? What is this? Mac Doosan. Oh. Who makes Doosan? Where is that? Is that a European brand? Is that an American brand? What's Doosan? Why didn't you just get a cat like everybody else? <laughs> or a John Deere. You know? What's a Doosan? Diesel, have you heard of Doosan before? I've seen them around. If they're domestic, then eh, I don't care. I don't understand why people would import heavy machinery when there's Plenty of great brands to buy from right here. I mean, it all comes down to money, I guess. Put ourselves in our big giant rudder. <laughs> Looks like my trailer has a big rudder on the back of it. <laughs> Helps me streamline, keeps me in the lane. <laughs> well, come on, Diesel, that was funny. Laugh at my jokes. What's going on over there? Who started it? Who started it? He's trying to take my ball away, man. Oh, he won't share, man. It's not very nice. Did he have it first? Why are you guys fighting over there? You guys fighting? I told you, he's trying to take it away. He doesn't share. Brothers, come on. Learn to work together. Being a dad is tough sometimes. Especially of two big boys. Look at this. Always fighting with each other. It's my ball. It's a pink one. I like it. It's my fake ball. Yeah, it would be, wouldn't it, Diesel? You like the... <laughs> you like you like pink, don't you, Diesel? A little bit of a girly boy, aren't you? Yes, I am, actually. Don't discriminate. You can't. I have rights. Hey, Chevy. <laughs> so we made it home, uh, obviously, and I didn't film anything apparently. I'm over here editing the rest of this vlog and I'm looking for the rest of my footage and like usual, you know, I've told you this many times before, I'm like, oh, I thought I filmed more. Ha! Turns out I didn't. 
Turns out I didn't. Uh, usually when I'm on my way home, I guess I just, I'm in the habit of having a one-track mind. But here we are. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. If you're new, we make new videos almost every day. Love to have you aboard here. We're trying to get to 100,000 this year in 2018. 100,000, then I get a silver play button from YouTube. That'd be pretty cool. But either way, I'm happy to make videos for you. So please subscribe if you haven't. Hit the little bell, and I'll see you tomorrow.